Good morning, good morning, good morning. Big Swear, road to Ruta.com with your morning horn of Z's. Your sip of coffee. <laughs> I have any coffee this morning. I'm um, coming to you from the Jeep. <clears throat> so much going on on the road to Ruta in the cryptos. First of all, don't panic. Just we, how many times have we been through a pullback in the cryptos? I can count dozens. Um, no, this is not the death of Bitcoin. You know we're at the bottom of the pullback when you start hearing, oh, Bitcoin's dead. <laughs> for the hundredth time. So yeah, this is the hodl time. If you're a trader, you're loving life with this volatility. You know, you sold at the top, you're gonna buy at the bottom because you're perfect every time like Tone Vase. Um, bravo, bravo. <laughs> As for me, I sit back and I hodl. I wasn't gonna sell it uh, on Monday of next week, so I'm not gonna worry about it going down. You sit, you hodl, hold on for dear life. <clears throat> but there are a few things going on that I want to talk about. Number one, on the road to Ruta, we have shifted to a new token offering that with the road to Ruta coins, I am giving away one salt token. Woohoo! One membership token. With that token, you can do a collateral loan for up to, I think it's $10,000 for one token. <coughs> of course, you need the collateral to back it up. Um, and I am actually talking with one of my contacts at SALT this afternoon just to get an update on where we are, what's going on, everything online uh, for a uh, release of the first product soon and maybe just get a little update. And that should, uh, I will first tell people in the Friday road trip, uh, which is, will be posted tomorrow uh, for Private Road members. If you're interested in Private Road, uh, one thing, uh, we are so backlogged in getting those coins out. Most of the uh, November coins will be out today or tomorrow. We've completely run out of coins, so I have a new order in. It'll be another three or four weeks before uh, we get the new coins. So don't expect your uh, Road Ruta coin, the silver coolest coin in the history of the world, to show up on your doorstep right away, but it will get there, I promise. Along with a salt token and those signing up now to get a SALT token uh, will get a little special surprise in that as well. Um, and it's a really cool SALT sticker. It's a HODL sticker. It's got two fists like this. We're going to give away one of those uh, with every private road membership, so check it out at roadrooter.com. And I promise you, you will get your coin. I just can't promise you the day. Uh, we've got a rush order probably before Christmas, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. It, it's just been crazy busy at the Road to Ruta because we had the spike up in the cryptos and now it's going to spike down so we might have some breathing room, <laughs> which would be great. Um, and yeah, the 15 uh, suggestions of coins to buy for the future on the private road, it's all about the future. And the future is not today. The future is not next week. The future is 2018, 19, 20, 21. So do we care that the cryptos go up, down, and sideways with massive volatility? Uh, yeah, yeah, we care a little. I always get scared when they go up too fast, which was just recently. So yes, it, it is having a pullback and all the traders and manipulators are having fun, but we'll see where that goes. Uh, I do want to talk about a FUD disease going around. FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Uh, the Dragon Slayer uh, conspiracy. This is uh, the, the the core lovers, BTC lovers, uh, Bitcoin core, not the Bitcoin cash people, Bitcoin segwit lovers, um, are all up in arms that uh, Roger Ver and the Chinese miners are conspiring against um, Bitcoin to have Bitcoin cash be called Bitcoin and they're gonna slam the price down of BTC down below $1,000. Is that a conspiracy? Could be. Um, that's why I said anybody, if you buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin Cash as well, because the winner has not been determined. And here's a philosophical uh, quandary for you. Why do you think gold has been used as a store of value for quote, 5,000 years, uh, according to all the gold bugs? Why do you think gold has been a good store of value for 5,000 years? And here's your hint. Gold was really never used as a currency, as a means of exchange going around door to door. 
Gold was used as a store of value because the unbagged fiat system and the other systems that have been uh, propagated to this point have been very subject to manipulation, very subject to absolutely uh, inflation going beyond belief. So gold, yes, gold was always a really good store of value because it held its value while the unbacked currency of the day was being destroyed. Well, here's a problem with the whole concept of what the Bitcoin core Segwit guys are doing, have done already. Their whole idea was I want Bitcoin to be the gold of the cryptos, to lock it up, make it ultra safe, but make it absolutely hard and expensive to use. And that's what they did with the SegWit thing and they, they refused to go to uh, more than one megabyte. Um, so it's very expensive to do a Bitcoin transaction, almost got run over. And very expensive to, uh, yeah. <laughs> very expensive to do a Bitcoin transaction, very slow. Now, is that conducive to a, a good form of gold? Maybe. But do we need a good form of gold? Do we need a store of value in a world that has currencies that are not subject to massive inflation, like the cryptocurrencies, the good ones that have a limited supply? I'm not so sure we need a type of gold in a future world, a high tech world that values the stability of these cryptocurrencies and tokens. I know it's tough to get your head around for a lot of people, but it might be that Bitcoin Cash is a whole lot more valuable than Bitcoin Core. And we might see the price of BTC go down below a thousand or go to zero because a form of store of value is not necessarily needed in a situation where the means of exchange is very reliable and limited by math, limited by the blockchain and properly um, determining the amount of coins that are available. So you don't have that hyper volatility of the currency, which is always why people held gold. So yeah, it's a, it's a different philosophical understanding of gold and BTC core, BTC core being the uh, core developers form of Bitcoin BTC, which is being called BTC right now. So will Bitcoin Cash take over the position of Bitcoin core? Um, I think it's more likely than not, but that's just me. And how long will it take for people to understand and feel comfortable that the, the cryptocurrencies that are used as a means of exchange, which Bitcoin Core cannot be really, uh, how long will it be for the world to figure out that uh, these new currencies are a lot more reliable, a lot more limited in supply than they were in the past? Uh, I would say it might take a while. So BTC, Bitcoin, as it's called today, Bitcoin Core, might do uh, very well for a while while people are scared until they get comfortable with the new form of currency as in Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin especially, uh, Dash, which is a good one, um, and all the other tokens that are being used within its own ecosphere of uh, an economic system or a business model. And it's all about scarcity. So I found it interesting that Alan Greenspan came out in his very, very ripe old age and was talking about scarcity. And it'll be really interesting what happens with the Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin Core. Bitcoin Core being um, the, uh, what, what would you call Bitcoin Core? They're calling it BTC now. BTC is just a ticker symbol that a few exchanges started using, the bigger ones, so everybody uses it. Um, so anybody buying Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Core right now should probably think about buying an equal amount of Bitcoin Cash. That's my position. And this whole thing with gold as a store of value is very, very valuable when people don't trust the currency that they're dealing with. If people do trust the currency that they're dealing with and do see that it is uh, limited in supply and, and they like the parameters of whatever cryptocurrency they're using as a means of exchange, 
then the whole concept of needing a store of value kind of goes out the window. And there's another thing. The good guys, as I call them, within the Fed, uh, Fed Boston mainly, who are running this game of, uh, you know, who knows, the road to Ruta stuff. I have a sneaking suspicion that they want to destroy the old Bitcoin core position because of what they did to Satoshi's grand vision of a cash system, a peer-to-peer -peer cash system, and not lock it up. So it is very possible uh, that the good guys, as I call them, with their unlimited printing press, might actually take down Bitcoin Core and um, reallocate money when the banks crash and all that. Uh, that's a sneaking suspicion. Don't hold me to that. In the meanwhile, the cryptos will stay volatile. So stay safe out there. Just hodl if you're like me and you don't care if it goes up or down for now. We're thinking, you know, six months, a year, two years, the whole world will be different. And especially have the, if you have the good company tokens um, that are out there and are like 20% off today. So if you are new to the game, get on the road to Ruta, find out the 15 that I recommend and buy any discounts. Remember, if you bought in, you know, two days ago and you're, you're mad at yourself for buying at the top, buy in again and dollar cost average your, your uh, initial purchase price. Uh, it's very easy to do, especially in the high volatility stuff. Don't kick yourself for, for buying at the highs. You weren't going to sell at the high and you're not going to sell at the low. We hang on to these things because we know the future is changing. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a good time to buy now. I don't know how far down it will go. And unless you were going to sell it in December for Christmas presents, it, it probably shouldn't matter to you. And if anything, you should be looking at lowering your dollar cost average for each of the tokens and cryptocurrencies you buy. Anyway, that's your morning horn of Z's. I know it's a lot to get your head around with the gold uh, versus store value versus Bitcoin versus Bitcoin cash thing. Uh, I recommend people just stay away and buy Litecoin. Litecoin's on a, another discount, 80 bucks today. It might go down to 70, 60, 50, I don't know. Uh, I don't care because I'm a hodler. Uh, Tone Vase is loving life because he can trade. And bravo to him, go for it, Tone. He's not my favorite guy morally, but uh, hey, if he, he he knows the secret of, of when uh, Bitcoin goes up and down. And uh, at, one, at some point, People are going to be caught out of their position. That's what I don't like about following the the uh, analysis on the trend analysis and all that stuff uh, with the chartists. Anyway, this is Big Square. I will talk to you guys later.